action. Today I shall discuss about the 10th standard chapter area related to surface. Area related to surface. So before going to start that lesson, so we have to recall the previous knowledge about the surface. And recall the previous knowledge about the sarka. So now, students, uh, um, what is the definition of the sarka? So all of you know that uh, circle is a collection of uh, points. Collection of points. So that means in another way, we can say that the circle is a collection of all points in a plane, which are at a constant distance. Or at a constant distance from a fixed point. Student, circle is a collection of all points in a plane or on a plane which are at constant distance from a fixed point. So here the fixed point is called as the center of the circle. Fixed point is called as the center of the circle. And the distance, constant distance is called as radius. Constant distance is called as radius. Now we will recall the previous knowledge which is necessary to us uh, to continue this uh, area related to circle. So we will see by uh, drawing a circle, uh, we can recall the different parts, concepts of the circles. Okay. Students, now, so just uh, uh, I am going to draw a circle. So here I have drawn a circle with the radius 5 cm. With the radius 5 cm. So here, so call this point as O and join it to the point on the circumference of the circle. Point on the circumference of the circle, any point on the circumference of the circle. So call this as an A. Observe here, students. So by the definition. So, circle is a collection of all points and so it is, they are all equidistant, equidistant from a fixed point. The fixed point is, is here, O is the fixed point. So, that is called as the center of the circle. O is called the fixed point, it is called as the center of the circle. And the length OA. So it is, I have taken here it is 5 cm. So if you take uh, another point or any point on the circumference of the circle, so if you join in that, so then, then also call it as B. So if you measure the distance, so then also it will be 5 cm. So that means all the points are equally distant from this fixed point. So that fixed point is called as the center of the circle. So therefore, O is the center of the circle. Similarly, students, this distance, constant distance OA, OB, so is called as it is called as the radius. It is called as the radius of the circle. So this is radius. Radius of the circle. Also, students, you know that the chord, chord of the circle, diameter of the circle, so segments of the circle. Area 
of the circle. Now we will see one by one. Here I will join any two points, any two points on the circumference of the circle. So if you join any two points on the circumference of the circle, call this as P Q P Q. So this line segment P Q line segment P Q is called as the chord. It is called as chord of the circle. So chord means it is a distance between the two points on the circumference of the circle. So that what we call students here, it is called as chord. So in the circle, you know that we can draw many number of chords. Many number of chords, but they are their length, uh, distance, sorry, their length will be different. Different. So, if the same chord, if it passes through the center of the circle, if the chord passes through the center of the circle, then it is called as arm. Yes, what do you call the chord which passes through the circle, sorry, center of the circle? Ah, yes, it is called as diameter. Now, again, if you see that this chord, the chord, if it is passes through the center of the circle, so it is called as the diameter. Call this as C. So, observe here. In the figure, AC, AC or CA is called as a diameter because it is a chord which passes through the center of the circle. Okay, students. So now, if you observe the measurement of the diameter and the diameter radius, measurement of the diameter and the radius. So this, so this diameter is always twice of the radius because OA is also a radius, OB is also a radius, OC is also a radius. By the definition of the radius, you know that distance between the center and the point on the circumference of a circle. So therefore OA is also a radius, OC is also a radius. So, this is also radius. So, but AC or CA is, it is a diameter, is a diameter. So, diameter means it is the core which passes through the center of the circle. So, this the relationship between the uh, diameter and the radius is Diameter is always twice of the radius. Diameter is always the twice of the radius. Okay, students. So we will one by one uh, name the parts. So in figure, in figure. So first point is O is the O is for the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. Center of the circle. So then, what do you call OA, OB, OC? OA, OB, and OC. So they are all called as or the radii or radius. The plural form of the radius is radii. So they are the radii of the same circle. So radii of the same circle always equal. So then, 
So the next point is PQ. So PQ is called as yes, PQ is the chord. PQ is a chord of the circle. So then what do you call AC or CA? CA is CA is ah yes CA is the diameter CA is the diameter of the circle. So now we will put move on to the so up so here students. this area which is bounded which is bounded by the chord the chord and the circumference of the circle chord and the circumference of a circle so this is called this as x so p x q p so this region so it is called as segment. It is called as segment. So here P X Q P is the segment. Is the segment. Segment of the circle. Similarly, if you observe the, so if you observe so if you observe this uh, shaded portion and the remaining portion and the remaining portion so observe here, so this one or this as in Y so this is P Y P Y Q. So here for this part, this part P Y Q P. So this part it is called. It is also called as a segment of the circle. It is also called as a segment of the circle. This is called as minor segment this is called as minor segment minor segment as compared to this so I will uh, uh, remove this diameter so then so this part this part is called as Major segment, major segment, major segment. So already you know that, students. You already know that. So P Y Q, P Y Q is an R. It is an R of the circle. R means R is a part of the circle. R is a part of the circle. P Y Q. It is a major or whereas Pxq is minor or so therefore so minor segment means area bounded by area bounded by minor or minor or and the chord is called as minor segment and the area bounded by major or and the chord is called as major segment major segment ok students another one so if you draw the diameter if you draw the diameter so that the diameter divides the circle into two equal parts diameter divides the circle into two equal parts so each part is called as semicircle so each part is called as semicircle ok students so here 
E Q is the diameter. E Q is the diameter. So this diameter divides the circle into two equal parts. So each part, so each part is called as semi circle. Semi circle. So these are all the things uh, you are already know in the previous class. And also so, uh, the angles in minor segment, major segment and the semicircle. So if you measure the angles, so in the semicircle it will be equal to 90 degree. So it will be equal to 90 degree. So now we shall see so some of the formulas. Some of the formulas. So students, you know that uh, the circumference of a formula to find out the circumference of a circle. Formula to find out the circumference of a circle. Now students, uh, uh, we are discussing about the so different formulas. So, circumference of a circle circumference of a circle or it is also called as perimeter or it is also called as perimeter perimeter of a circle c equals 2 pi r 2 pi r this is also in order because all these uh, concepts you, we are going to use in this uh, area related to circle chapter so next uh, students uh, also you know that uh, the um, relationship between the um, radius and the diameter so you know that diameter is always twice of the radius diameter is always twice of the radius or radius is always half of the diameter total same diameter is always twice of the radius or radius is always half of the diameter this is the diameter so here it is O O P is radius O P is radius so R plus R it is 2 R so this is another relationship so and also students you know that formula to find out the area of the circle formula to find out the area of the circle so yes what is the formula area of the circle so A equals a equals pi r square. A equals pi r square. You know that. So in all these cases, where where r equals where r equals radius, r equals radius of the circle. Or the, and the value of pi is 32 pi 7 or the decimal as you get as 3.14. So value is uh, 32 by 7 or it will be equal to 3.14. Okay students. So we will so keep these points so which are very useful to uh, simplify the problems on this uh, chapter. So again, once again we will move on to the sum of the uh, other formulas which are very useful to simplify the problems.
uh, in this chapter okay so now students uh, we will see the nearly of the semester so the uh, So, formula to find out the area of the semicircle. Now, we should see formula to find out the area of the semicircle. Area of the semicircle. Semicircle is equal to. So, here you know that the area of the circle is. Pi R square. So here it is pi R square. So there are two formulas for the to find out the area of the semicircle. So whereas if the diameter, if we take the diameter as a part of the semicircle, if diameter is taken as a part of the circle, so it is. We know that. I'm sorry, we know that the area of the circle is pi r square. So here it is divided into two parts. It is divided into two parts. So therefore, the area of the semicircle is pi r square by two. So you know that the area of the circle is pi r square. So the diameter divided into two equal parts is two equal parts. So each part is called as semicircle. So therefore, we know that area of the circle is pi r square. So the semicircle area of the semicircle is so pi r square by two. So next one is circumference of the circumference. Circumference of the semicircle. The semicircle. Circumference of the semicircle. So it will be equal to. You know that. So circumference of a circle is two pi r. You know that circumference of a circle is two pi r. C U C equals to pi r and A equals pi r square. So circumference of this circle is so it is half of the circle. It is always half of the circle. So remove this two. So then we will get pi r. Pi r plus b. Pi r plus b. So because uh, if diameter is included, so if diameter is included, or in other words, we can write. So this can be written as so b equals pi r. Pi r, pi r plus two r. So this can be written as pi r plus two r. So because diameter is always twice of the radius. So here condition is diameter is included. Diameter is included. So then. We can use this formula pi r plus b or pi r plus b in place of b to into r because diameter is always twice of the radius. Similarly, so the area of the circumference, so the circumference of the circle, circumference. Semi-circle. Semi-circle. 
So if diameter is extruded, so if diameter is so extruded, so it is only pi r. It is only pi r. So here diameter is extruded. Diameter a zero the law.
formula to find out the area of sector okay students so this is uh, this these are the formulas here we are going to uh, use when simplifying the problems so okay um, we shall continue in the next class so today you have to remember so these are um, the formulas which are very essential for the calculation of the um, problems in the area related to circles then okay, we will see in the next class